It's good to see you this morning. I have Miss Perry's second grade class in helping us today on Cubby TV. Let's stand for our pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nine for our white oak chant. Go. This is the way. Hey, we start the day. Hey, we have the knowledge. Hey, to go to college. Hey, but don't stop there. Hey, go anywhere. Hey, this is the way. Hey, we start the day. Hey. Now, Miss Perry's class has a song for us about matter. Ready? One, two, three, go. Matter always takes up space, takes up space, takes up space. Matter always takes up space, it is found everywhere. Solids have their own shapes, own shapes, own shapes. Solids have their own shapes, it can't change on its own. Liquids flow and change their shapes, change their shapes, change their shapes. writer. We need to understand that the conduct of every person affects more or less the happiness of others. In other words, everything we do and say affects the people around us. And even though we can't be responsible for everyone else's happiness, we can do our best to add to the happiness of others. Notice how you conduct yourself and how that affects another person how it can affect your entire classroom, and how it can affect our entire school. Then make someone's day a little happier with a few words of kindness and encouragement. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Evans reminding you of our motto. Say it with me. I am safe. I am a peacemaker. I am a learner. Now I have Miss Beth Bravel coming up to <coughs> share with us about Book Character Day. Good morning. Yesterday, Miss. Evans mentioned to you that next Friday, the 28th, is Book Character Day, and we want all of our students to dress as their favorite book character. Bring your book with you so you can show the book and we can see who you are. So we talked about how you can look around your house and find things to use as your costume. You don't have to spend money. So I went through the library trying to find a few examples, and I'll show you some more later on. But these are the ones I found today. This is a book called Best Friends Wear Pink Tutus. How many of our little girls go to dance? Any of you guys go to dance? Yeah, any of you girls go to I bet a lot of our friends here have pink tutus. And in this book, there are two little girls. Their names are Emily and Marie. And Emily and Marie wear pink tutus. And that's all it is, is a pink leotard with a pink tutu and tights. I bet we could have some people be Emily and Marie. And then we have lots of friends who love this book, Olivia about the pig. Olivia wears a red dress with black and white striped tights. I bet some of our friends have that too. And then lots of our friends love the Llama Llama books. And in fact, I couldn't even bring the book in here today because they're all checked out. But this is Llama Llama red pajama. And he's just wearing this pair of red pajamas and carrying his little teddy bear. So you could wear red pajamas and you could be Llama Llama for a day. So those are just some ideas of quick and easy costumes for book character day. Thank you, Miss Bravel. Those are easy, and she's helping me with my costume too, and it's pretty easy as well. You'll have to see what I'm going to be. So that's next Friday. Uh, make sure that you're planning now. And parents, we encourage you uh, to read the book with your child. Make sure that they know the story, they know their character, that kind of thing. Also, um, we have School of Rock next Thursday night, the 27th. Uh, that is sponsored by our school system and the school system and we're actually 
going to be going to that production at Brooklyn's High School. The tickets are only $10. Miss Jane Parr has them for sale, and uh, we only get 300 tickets for our whole school system. So, um, if you're planning to go, you need to go ahead and get your ticket. I saw some um, parents <coughs> in this morning getting their tickets um, for their family to go. Um, we are also in the midst of our PBIS challenge to be able to go to the ACES football game on November the 4th. So for our school, we have to have perfect attendance. We have to be on blue or above every day. Um, and that was from the 17th all the way through next Friday. And no bus referrals or office referrals. And then you're going to get your invitation to go to the ACES football team um, and get a ticket for that. Now, our friends here at school get in free. Your parents will have to pay. You do need to have a parent with you. But the cool thing about it is that you're going to be recognized at halftime at the Aces football game, and you're going to be down on the field with some of your teachers. So that is going to be an awesome activity. If you went last year, you know how much fun we had. Um, so make sure that you're meeting that criteria and you can get that ticket. Um, I do want to talk just a bit. We've had some friends get a bus referral in the last few days. And I want to encourage you to make sure that you're following all the bus rules and doing exactly what you're supposed to do to keep yourself safe and those around you safe. And that means you got to follow all the directions of your bus drivers because we don't want any of our friends to have to come see Miss McLaughlin or me because we didn't behave on the bus. And after that happens, then you have to go see Miss Carter and have a little bus safety class. In fact, she's got a couple of friends this morning who are in bus safety class even as we speak. So let's make sure that we're doing the right thing on our buses because we do not want any bus referrals. None. I don't want to see your name come across my computer. Not for that reason. All right, let me read our cubby calls for this morning. Um, we have Brianna Colson in Miss Copeland's class helping a teacher. We have Marco for a great job in Cup Club. Ayanna Dawkins in Ms. Nixon's class, excellent story, um, lots of excitement. Cara Lane in Ms. Nixon's class, uh, figuring out, uh, filling out her reading log. Eliza Jethro in Ms. Nixon's class for following directions and being very trustworthy. Savannah Byer in Ms. Walston's class, um, helping with pencils. Ziana James in Ms. Perry's class. Super job answering retail questions, written retail questions. Haley Connor, Miss Copeland's class, hallway manners. Siraj A, uh, Miss Nixon's class for putting the chairs down. Michaela uh, for in Norman for wind time. Um, Victoria, 100% on Letterland Unit 4 test. That is awesome. Will for wind time. Jariah Hill for being a cubby star. Jessica Lopez in Ms. Peel's class, hard worker during math. Christian in Ms. Peel's class, excellent group participation with Ms. Jordan. Jay Quell in Ms. Daniel's class, working above purple. Denasia Riddick in Ms. Brider's class, Hall of Fame purple cub cubby stars 10 times. Now that's awesome. Now that's a kindergartner who has learned really quickly what we need to do at school. Uh, this is William in Ms. Nixon's class for great writing. Ethan Robertson, Ms. Barger's class, responsible with pencils. Isaiah, Ms. Barger's class, remembering the right way to pack up. Zoe Watkins in Ms. Nixon's class, filling out the reading log. My uh, friends, there were a couple of these that didn't have teacher names, and you heard me just calling some first names because we didn't have last names. Um, that makes it hard for Ms. Carter to know exactly who to give a uh, prize to on the treasure chest. So remember your first and last name and your teacher's name. Zanasia on 106, here we go with our bus um, cubby paws. Jemiah on 135, Kamaza on 138, Shanasia on 136, Beverly on 117, Damari Bentley on 115, Shania Privet on 123, Aubrey Bass 129, uh, Isaiah Ward, Asaya Ward on 130, and Mariah Ely on 129. Thank y'all so much. These are the friends that are doing the right thing on the bus. I want to see everybody getting a cubby call for our buses. Let's stand and sing Go Be Awesome. <laughs> Go Be Awesome. 